car in the backseat Wide awake is the way that you left me, oh Now it's clear we are here back at your house And I keep... Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Also, if you are new, welcome. So today we are getting some early spring cleaning done. Now, if you are new here, you may not know this, but I am a firm believer that spring cleaning should be done all year round to help maintain a clean home and your sanity. But today we're gonna go over some different things we can do to start thinking about spring cleaning. Depending on what part of the country you're in, uh, it may very much vary. I am in Florida, so the weather here is like perfect for spring cleaning. It's not too hot, it's not cold, obviously. But I remember even when I lived in Wisconsin, this time of year, I was so ready just for some fresh air and just to spring clean that I would spring clean in February, open my windows, didn't matter if there was snow outside. I needed just like an hour to let the house air out and start feeling fresh and clean again. So today we are going to go through a bunch of different stuff to get you guys motivated. If it's spring cleaning or regular cleaning motivation, busy mom life motivation, all the things. Because you know here on my channel we share the real life mess and being a busy mom of three with animals and everything, like there's always stuff to get done. So I am going into, this is Bjorn's room. So our house does have irrigation and it's well water that waters our grass. So as long as the sprinklers are working correctly, they don't hit the house. Bobby set that up. However, he recently tweaked them and they sprayed all over these windows. And as you can see, they're just, they got the hard water on them and everything. So I recently found out this trick and oh my goodness, if you have hard water, try this best thing ever. Now they did not use the Zep toilet bowl cleaner. They used something else, but I love the Zep toilet bowl cleaner. Actually, that was a recommendation from one of you guys. It on hard water came off like butter. There was no scrubbing. I just used my scrub daddy to put it on and then I wiped it down and then did a traditional just like cleaning of the windows. Best little hack ever. It made cleaning off these hard water spots so easy and when it comes to our well water it can be really really difficult to clean So as you can see, when it comes to this, I'm using this app and like I said, my scrub mommy brush. Um, but then I am going in with a, I think I had like three different microfiber cloths because I had one to wipe the zip off. And then I had another one to actually go in and help me clean the windows because I obviously didn't want to leave any residue left on here. Um, so that is why you see like multiple different cleaning things over there is I knew whatever I used to wipe the Zep off, I was going to have to use something else to actually polish and clean the windows. Here you can see the massive difference. And like I said, this didn't take long at all. It was really simple to do. Um, but I did notice once I was done that the screens were dirty. Um, and I hate taking off screens off windows to clean. They're a pain to get off and they're a pain to get on. Now there are some windows in my house, like my front windows that I don't have a choice. I have to take them off. But I wanted to try something new. So I went and got a um, bowl of dish soap 
and hot water and I cleaned the screens with a actually with my mop socks because <laughs> that's what I grabbed and then I used our steamer to not only rinse the soap off but I also sprayed it all out it if you guys have a steamer, you know they're super powerful. So if there's anything on the screen, it just like blasted it away. Best little trick that I have found, if you guys have not tried this and you hate cleaning your screens because you hate taking them on and off, because that's the only reason I hate cleaning my screens is I hate having to take them down, put them up, all the things. This worked so well. It was so so easy and I feel like most people nowadays have a steamer if you don't and you have like a leaf blower or something like that I think it would do the same thing where you could go in and wipe them down with some sort of microfiber cloth sponge whatever and then like spray out all the soap and water and everything but on to the next window in his room. This one wasn't as bad, but as you can see, it still needed to get cleaned. Now, I know I have mentioned this before, but especially with us going into spring cleaning, I feel like this is the best time to talk about this. Now, I am not cleaning every single window in my house today. I'm working on Bjorn's room, and then I will be working on the family room windows, but that is it. I think it is so important, and this is if you are a stay-at-home mom, if you are a working mom, if you're just a little bit older and need to get things done a little bit slower, if you have medical issues, children, no children, like literally it doesn't matter who you are. I feel like mentally you get so much relief when you break up tasks. So instead of spring cleaning your whole house in the matter of March, break it down into smaller bite-sized pieces. I like to go around my house and when I see a task that needs to get done, I either write it down or make a mental note of it and it goes on the rotation. That way I'm constantly keeping up with the house, but I'm never dreading this huge task of I got to deep clean my bedroom, floor to ceiling, every little thing in it. Uh, because you know, when you do that, the rest of your house goes to trash, at least in my house. Like if I spend all day working my family room, that means I have no time to work on the rest of the house. So the rest of the house is in shambles and now I have to play the catch up game. By breaking it down like this, that never happens. It allows me to get these little projects done while still maintaining the rest of my home. I am also just a huge fan of natural light. So when I can get my windows clean, I always feel so good just to have them fresh. You can see right through them. You can see here though, with cleaning the screen, massive, massive difference. Um, now I'm just doing a quick tidy up. I did open up the windows to let some fresh air in. Uh, like I said before, I used to live in Wisconsin. I now live in Florida. Um, and it's funny because this time of year is like, I keep telling Bobby, I'm like, I don't care if it's 50 outside or 60 outside. I'm opening the windows and letting in the fresh air because in just a couple months, it's going to be way too hot to let the fresh air in where I know up north, it's complete like opposite. Like winter, you have your house completely shut and then come spring, summer, fall is when you start opening things up. So 
it has been a little bit chillier here the past couple days, but my windows are still open. <laughs> now, these are the outside windows that I said I was going to be getting done also in the family room. I'm going in with my mop to clean them because they're a little bit taller. So instead of having to get a ladder or whatnot, I use one to scrub and then one to polish. So that's why I had two of these. The reason I have to come outside though to clean these and take the screens off are these don't open like the other windows in my house. So the only way to clean them is like this. Now, if you can see the center window, the seal is broken. So that one is just not going to look the greatest. I do have an appointment with our window people to come out and fix that because these windows are uh, less than a year old. Um, and that has been driving me absolutely crazy, especially since it's like the front window of the house. But luckily they're coming out. Obviously everything's still under warranty. So trying to get all of that done. But on top of cleaning the windows, I also really wanted to clean the window sills. And this is the easiest time when the screens are out. So I'm just moving the couch. That way it's not in my way. And I'm going to use the steamer to blast these windows clean. So I often get questions about this steamer. So this is the Wagner steamer. I got this um, not too crazy long ago. My steam shot head died. My fault. I stored it away with water in it. Don't do that. Um, so I needed a new one. And I saw this and it was a really good price for what it is. And the tank for the water is a lot larger. It's a lot easier on my hands because if you guys have a steam shot, all that weight is in your hand. So I liked that this had a nice long cord. There are just a lot of really nice things about this one, which is why I ended up going with it and absolutely love it. I love steamers in general. Yes, one thing to keep in mind is they can be messy because they are like super powerful. So the stuff that it's spraying is going to go all over the place. But if you have some areas that are harder to get at and just not coming clean, these things are amazing. So a couple things I like about this Wagner is, like I said, it's got a larger water tank. So I can use this water tank pretty much all day and it does not run out on me, which is really nice because if you guys know, if you run out of water, then you have to wait for the whole thing to completely cool down before you can refill it and let it reheat up. So knowing that it has a big water tank is huge. I also said it's lighter on my hands. I really like that. But then also the pieces like this has it. So if you have wallpaper, you need to take down that it's got some attachment for that. It's got the scrubbers. It's actually got a mop attachment so you can steam your floors. Literally anything you need to do with a steamer, this has the attachment for it. So that is why I really like this Wagner. Like I said, I know I've gotten tons of questions about it. A lot of people asking for the link and stuff. So I wanted to kind of go over those features for you guys. You know that you're the traveling kind. It's a known fact. Yeah, I know that. And then once I was done with the windows, I just came back outside to clean off these screens. I'm just spraying them down with water. Didn't need to get too fancy with it. They weren't horrible. Um, and there are some days that, yeah, getting in there with some Dawn dish soap and a scrub brush and everything really is necessary. But I will say if you stay on top of your screens, it usually isn't 
something that's necessary. That is like if the screens haven't been touched in years and they really have a big pollen, dust, and any just natural matter buildup on it that you're going to want to get in with that stuff. If you stay on top of them, just a quick spray down is usually all it takes. And my heart's been fast when it's looking like that. Oh, his smile is killing me. It's the way that it moves and the way that it laughs. So I can't get enough. Think about him all the time. I can get him off my mind. Another thing to keep in mind when you're cleaning, and I feel like a lot of people have lost, lost touch on this because when it comes to YouTube and TikTok and Instagram, and I'm not going to lie, it is kind of satisfying to see all the suds and bubbles and things like that when people are cleaning, um, but less is more when it comes to cleaning. If you use too much product, often you are hurting yourself because it's going to actually attract more dust if you can't fully rinse it and whatnot. So I highly recommend keeping in mind when watching some other YouTubers or other TikTokers that if it looks overly sudsy and overly bubbly and like they've used a lot of product, it's probably just for the video <laughs> um, and not the way you should be doing it. Less is more. That's when it comes to pretty much anything cleaning wise in your house, especially if you are talking about floors. So rugs and even your hardwoods or laminates. Definitely stick to what the manufacturers say when it comes to your shampooers and how much different uh, cleaner to use on your floor because that will build up over time if you're not fully extracting it. So just something to keep in mind is sometimes the sudsy bubbly you see is really fun to watch, but not something you should be doing in your home for spring cleaning. All right, though, back into the bedroom, though. I needed to clean this fan. This fan is always so dirty. I talk about this on a regular basis, and here you can see it is nasty. So I'm going in with my Swiffer Duster first and getting as much of the bigger clumps and stuff off before going in with a microfiber cloth and um, my a multi-purpose spray cleaner. So normally though, I do this with a, a pillowcase because it catches all the dust and everything. And you are gonna see in a second on my bed why I do that. Now on this day, I didn't worry about it because I knew I was gonna take my mattress protector off and wash it as well. Um, so it really just didn't bother me that it was gonna be falling off onto my bed. But like I said, wait till you see the bed when I am all done here because it'll make you think twice about how you dust your ceiling fans. I highly, highly recommend using um, an old pillowcase because it works so well. And then it's not just all of this, this right here. Though that's literally all just dust from my ceiling fan. And like I said, I knew this mattress protector was going to be going into my washing machine right after this, so it didn't really bother me. I still vacuumed up the big chunks because I didn't want that to go into the washing machine. Um, but normally, I would never have all of that coming down onto the bed. So another area to keep in mind when spring cleaning are your baseboards. I highly recommend first going in with a vacuum to really dust them and clean them off. If you just go in with a wet rag, you're just kind of moving the dirt around, um, especially if you have animals and the hair is everywhere. You'll notice that wet microfiber cloths have a really hard time actually picking it up. So 
I'm going around just with my vacuum and the brush attachment and dusting everything first. And then on to the walls. So I am using my um, wall cleaner. This is the Zep wall cleaner. Love this stuff. And then I am using the mop and bucket that I have as well. This, oh no, I can't remember what brand this is. I saw this mop on uh, TikTok, fell in love with it, ordered it. And I love this thing. You guys saw me use it on my windows. I use it on my floors and my walls. I like the shape of it uh, and the way it actually cleans the mop head before putting it back onto either your walls or your floors or whatever area you're using them with. I still have my O-Cedar though because I did learn that our sunroom slash dog room that has a more textured tile this does not work as well because it is just a flat mop. It doesn't get into those crevices as well. So I did keep my O-Cedar mop for that reason. I told you guys when I got this thing, I was going to give you guys an honest review after weeks of using it. Um, and as you can see, I still love it, but is something to keep in mind. For me, it doesn't bother me because it's just my dog room slash sunroom. But if I had like a lot of my main floor being a more textured tile, I would not buy this mop. Now, a lot of people may be wondering why wash your walls, and there's lots of different reasons to wash your walls. Um, for me, with kids, they run their feet, their hands, literally everything all over the walls. And if you have kids, you know this. They will lay on their back and put their dirty feet all over the walls. They will get done eating and then just smear it on the walls. Um, but also, I have animals. Uh, my St. Bernard especially, like he'll go outside and be laying in the dirt and the grass uh, and then come inside and he doesn't even think if he's rubbing his side against the wall or if he slobbers and then shakes and that ends up on the wall. Um, but even if you live alone, great thing about washing your walls, one, it's gonna be a lot easier if you live alone. You're not gonna have the amount of cleaning as if you had pets and kids, but one, you're still going to have dust build up, especially if you have textured walls, but two, it just smells so good when you clean your walls. Now, one thing I want you to keep in mind of possibly doing this spring cleaning is touching up your baseboards, even if it's just the very top of them. I feel like baseboards can make the biggest difference. On this day, I was just going in and doing the tops of the baseboards. Um, so I wasn't worrying about being too nitpicky of the line because I wanted to go back in with the actual wall color on a different day to sharpen it up. But there are just times that you can clean these baseboards over and over and over again, and they just don't look great anymore. So I always keep trim paint on hand. That way, if need be, I can go in and just do a quick touch up. This took me maybe five minutes to go around pretty much all the trim in my bedroom. I say pretty much because I did not move furniture to do this, but oh my goodness, made a huge difference of the way everything looked. So Something to keep in mind, maybe this spring cleaning to add to your list of just touching up different trim in your house. As you can see, this is a different day and we are moving on to the kitchen. Just like the movies, 
So unfortunately at this time, my bottle for making my Dawn power wash was like empty and I did not have any rubbing alcohol. So I pulled out my Mrs. Meyers dish soap and used it that way. Obviously still works fine. Um, and I do love my Mrs. Meyers. It smells so good. Yes, Dawn works really, really well and I love it. But there are times that I really like just having the different scents that do come with Mrs. Myers. Now, I know I mentioned this a lot on my channel, uh, but it's because I get questions every single week about my multi-purpose spray. Every single week, someone's asking me what I use, so I like to bring it up for you guys. So multi-purpose spray in my house is either Pine Sol or Thieves Cleaner. I love both of those. I always have them in the house and I just kind of go back and forth between the two of them. Um, so yes, and I highly recommend a really, really good multi-purpose cleaner. Like it's nice to have different cleaners for different things, but if you're just looking to do a quick speed clean, get everything done, or you just don't have a lot of time or want to clean, Having a good multi-purpose cleaner is so very, very important. It changes the entire game of cleaning when you can grab one spray bottle and a couple microfiber cloths and pretty much clean your entire home. I do love though the look of a freshly clean sink. Uh, little tip if you are cleaning your sink and it just isn't as shiny as you would like or something like that is polish dry it with a window cleaning cloth. Makes like all the difference in the world and then you can actually go in with your stainless steel cleaner and polish it with that as well. I will sometimes do that and sometimes I won't because I'm constantly using my sink, either washing hands or dishes ending up in it or whatever. Um, so I don't really worry about every time I clean out my sink, making sure it is polished dry and whatnot. But I do think it is very important to clean your sink at least once a day. Uh, typically, I do it twice a day. Typically, I'll do it in the morning after like breakfast, after I do a really big cleaning, and then again after dinner. Got a brand new one since you got lost in November. See it in your eyes when we leave for tonight. Way too many heartbreaks still on your mind. Let the flame burn down for a while. Let the flame burn out for a while. Stay in the moment. Stay in the moment with me. Give you a moment. Give you a moment with me. Smell all the roses. So it's crazy tonight. Um, as I'm doing this voiceover, Xander and Bobby are actually at the middle school doing like middle school, it's like a little presentation and get to see his campus for next year, which is just having me kind of freaking out that I'm going to have a child in middle school next year. I don't know how that's possible. I feel like I just had him um, and it's insane. The idea that he's going to be in middle school next year is crazy crazy. I told him though he's going to get spoiled because the middle school I don't think even starts till like 9 a.m. Um, and for us it's within walking distance. He could walk there in about 10-15 minutes fairly easily. Um, but yeah that is what he's doing tonight so hopefully 
he likes the campus and everything. Bobby and I were both going to go, um, but it was between 5.30 and 6.30, which is literally prime time of cooking dinner. And then we'd have to take all three kids. And it just seemed like a lot. So I let Bobby take them. Um, and I'm sure he can come back and tell me whatever I need to know. Oh, now moving on to the floors, though, after my little chat about Xander. I always tell you guys, but if you have not invested in one of these vacuum mops, I a million and 25% recommend one of these vacuum mops. I have tried many. I've tried the Bissell. I've tried the Hoovers. I've tried um, the Robo Rocks. I've tried the... Uh, I'm losing train of thought of what all the ones I've tried. And for the most part, they have all worked really, really well. There was only one I did not like. I believe it was... I don't even remember. But it was like when these first came out and were a thing... I bought one of the very first models, and I didn't love it at all. Um, it actually just kind of seemed like a pain. But now that they've been out for a couple years, I feel like all the companies have really learned and evolved. And these are, I think, one of the most important cleaning gadgets to have in your house if you have kids or pets. All right, so how many of you guys are football fans? Curious who's going to be watching the Super Bowl. Um, I am a pretty big football fan. I really enjoy watching football on Sundays and whatnot. Uh, but I'll be honest, I'm not super thrilled with either of the teams that are in the Super Bowl this year. I was really hoping for some underdogs. And I am not a Lions fan. I am a Green Bay Packers fan. So you guys... I'm sure can tell by t saying that I was rooting for the Lions after the Packers lost is saying a lot. But I was. I so badly wanted that underdog story of the Lions getting there. They've never been to the Super Bowl. I'm actually pretty sure they've never gotten as far even into the playoffs as they did this year. Um, and I was really, really bummed. But it looks like we're going ha to ha still have a good halftime game. So... Definitely going to be watching that. I really don't care who wins. Um, I think the only thing I'm excited about is watching Travis Kelsey's brother because I loved Kelsey's brother. I think he is like so authentic and cute and fun to watch. Um, I listen to their podcast sometimes and love that. Uh, but that's about it. Halftime show and watching Travis Kelsey's brother playing. So... Not playing, but there, rooting on his brother. I'm excited about that. As you can see, I am out into, this is our sunroom slash dog room. So this is where I keep, this is where the animals eat. This is where all the animal food is. You might be wondering what these giant bags are. These are bags of worms. Yes, I said worms, but they are uh, like freeze dried or something. Uh, they're mealworms and my birds absolutely love them. So I buy them in these giant bags. The ducks, if I let them, would eat an entire bag in a day, which I'm not going to let them because they're not that cheap to just let them eat that much. Um, but I wanted to put them in this little container. That was a little bit easier to get at. But unfortunately, I realized that my new bag was not sealable like my old bag. So I wanted to flip everything over into the old bag. That way I could reseal um, and not have these spilling all over the place.
I still absolutely love this sofa. <laughs> if you follow us on our family vlog channel, you would know Bailey loves it as well. Mainly this chaise lounge area is his favorite spot to sleep on. Um, but I do like to go out here and give this a really good cleaning pretty much daily just to help with any odor. This Chom Chom though, this is the best thing ever. As you can see, it's completely empty. And this makes going in real quick just to get all the hair and stuff off of it a breeze. I always love opening this just to see how much it picked up. That might be one of the best parts about using one of these is you just really see how insane it is. And like I said, I do this pretty much every single day. Um, but then I'm just pretty much spot cleaning the sofa with my multi-purpose spray. This spray bottle is just Pine Sol. Um, I just have it in this one just because there's really no reason. Uh, these cushions though, actually completely unzip i can throw them in the washer and dryer and i do that fairly regularly uh, meaning like once a month but in between that time i like to come in and just wipe everything down uh once again bailey is a saint bernard if you know anything about saint bernards they can be very drooly and whatnot so being able to wipe this down he's not horribly drooly like not um what's the the dog i can't think of it <laughs> but the other like famous dog movie he's not like that beethoven um but if he is eating or anxious or sleeping those are when he's more apt to start drooling so usually when he is sleeping and his tongue's just hanging out there then he's a little bit more jewelry and we get those little spots on the sofa. So going in and getting the spot cleaning done really does help. I have still been loving this tile in this room. It just, I like that it doesn't look dirty as often as the old ones. Um, it just, I love it. I am still like so shocked that we found this under that uh, cheaper white marble. I don't even know what type of tile that was. Um, it was like, I don't want to say linoleum. I don't know. But I was very, very thrilled that we found this real tile under here. It is just, I think, absolutely beautiful. Um, and like I said, with this being right by the pool and everything, it just stays looking so much cleaner. And it's not slippery when wet. And that, to me, was huge. The old tile was so slick when it got wet, which you can only imagine. Kids outside swimming and whatnot, being hyper and crazy, and then running inside and busting it by being dripping wet onto this tile that was like super super slick uh very happy that this is not slick at all uh this is also the tile i was talking about earlier where i like my old cedar it just works where the other one with the texture it's fine for like skimming the top but actually like getting in there and cleaning the tile the old cedar by far wins out when it comes to textured tile but I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope it gave you guys some motivation. Uh, let me know when you guys normally start spring cleaning. Are you like me where you do it year round just to stay on top of it and stay on top of your mental health? Or are you guys already thinking about spring coming up? But I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.